All right, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I don't want to take a whole lot of your time, but I'm, I want to talk about something that's very disturbing uh, that I believe is going to help contribute to filling uh, the cup of the wine press of God. Uh, again, I, I will say, and I've said this before, that all judgments have a redemptive purpose. Uh, but when I see a disturbing trend that I'm getting ready to show you, um, you can see why uh, the anger of the Lord is kindled and can be kindled against uh, America. So again, just bear with me for a few minutes. Hello, guys. Thank you for joining me on this Sunday afternoon. Uh, no, I did not hear about that. Great. Another shooting apparently in Detroit. I'll have to research that. So for the next few moments, guys, I'm going to turn my attention to something that I want to show you. Um, so if I don't, if I do not uh, interact with you too, too much on this Periscope, uh, it's because I'm trying to remain focused because I have some important information I want to relay to you. I'll come back on here tonight, guys, and uh, and we'll 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 talk. I'll give you some updates on what what happened down in Loganville, Georgia, and so on and so forth this weekend, and things I'm going to be discussing uh, next month and throughout this week. So let's get started. Exodus chapter 20, verse three. The Lord says, Thou shalt shall have no other gods before me. This is one of the Ten Commandments. Again, the Lord commanded the people, Thou shalt not have no other gods before me. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 19-21, through 21, the Apostle Paul told the church of Corinth, What am I saying then, that an idol is anything, or what is offered to idols is anything? Rather, that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to demons and not to God. And I do not want you to have fellowship with demons, for you cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. You cannot partake of the Lord's table and the table of demons. Guys, what I want to talk to you about for the next few moments is the fact that I'm seeing that America is now unwillingly, I, I believe ignorantly uh, in, in most cases, but in some cases not, but sacrificing to demons unaware and are actually opening the door for massive influx of demonic warfare and evil spirits to come. So let's get straight to the point, okay? I'm going to take you back and I'm going to lead you up. Uh, on July 18th of 2015, the Times of Israel, with, with several other sources, uh, reported that the New York uh, skyscraper, the Empire State Building, was turned green in celebration of Ramadan, again, uh, which uh, again highlights the month of Ramadan that's worshipped by Muslims. Again, open the door for idol worship to again celebrate the celebration of other gods. And then we had uh, the horrific unveiling of the satanic temple that was revealed by multiple sources this one in general that i'm reading today is from fox news a satanic temple was unveiled right here in the united states of america uh in detroit at detroit michigan as a crowd of several hundred gathered uh again this was back in july 27th of this year as as hundreds gathered for the unveiling of a nine foot, 2,000 pound statue of a goat headed occult idol uh, that was again dedicated to Satan. The Satanic Temple unveiled the bronze figure to an estimated 700 attendees at an undisclosed location, in which followed a party which multiple individuals, individuals danced naked around this demonic statue, uh, and also uh, there was men kissing men and women kissing women okay and then on august 10th of this month the goddess kali the hindu god of death and destruction was unveiled and revealed again once again in new york uh, on the empire state building again the times of india along with several other sources reported uh, in a quote-unquote breathtaking spectacle, the goddess K Kali was projected on the Empire State Building in New York City. Uh, again, the, the goddess Kali is the Hindu god of death and destruction. Now I'm going to take you to, uh, here we go, this is the recent one. Uh, a city of 60,000 people uh, rose from the rise from the dust each summer in what is called the Burning Man Festival. 
Okay, again, according to CNN, uh, and I'm just going to give you this quote. Again, this is from CNN. Uh, this is I'm going to read straight from this quote. Create a temporary desert temple to whatever deity or idols or ideals that you hold true. Again, create a temporary desert temple to whatever deity or ideals you hold true. Learn how to spin fire and enjoy a cold gin, a tonic at the seven deadly gins bar. Or build a giant sculpture of two people embracing it and burn it down. Okay, now, again, this, uh, all of this and more takes place annually at this temporary city of 60,000 people known as, quote, Burning Man. Again, this is an annual gathering that is rising once again, or again, ro uh, will rise again. Uh, on the Black Rock de Desert of Nevada, dating back, again, this started in 1986, and this year uh, will begin on Sunday, August 30th, which is t today, and will continue through September 7th. Now, what is really, uh, what is really weird uh, is, uh, let me pull up this article, guys, because I want to, I want to give you, I should have pulled this up earlier, uh, the strange insects, and I pulled this up on, I, I actually posted this on uh, uh The strange insects began to appear. Uh, here we go, right here. August 20th, this is from NBC News. Swarms of insects infest site of annual event. Again, the Nevada desert where this event will hold, and we're going to, I'm going to talk more about that in just a second of why this is significant. Uh, the very site of this festival that took place uh, was overrun by thousands of flying, biting, crawling bugs, according to a festival organiz organizer. Quote, they're everywhere. They bite. They crawl all over you. They get up. They get up and they're in you. Accor again, this is from an organizer, John Curley, who, uh, who wrote on the festival's official blog. He said the bugs are so pervas uh, pervasive, yes, that one went up a woman's t-shirt and settled uh, in inside of her shirt while others weaseled through a welding mask and made a home for themselves around another woman's eyes. Again, quote, what's going on? We don't know. We don't know how these little critters survive in the heat and the sun. All we know is that if you pick up some wood, you're likely to uncover hundreds of thousands of these things. Again, this was written by Curly, who is a official blogger of this festival, the again the Burning Man Festival. Okay, now what's interesting about this? Okay, I'm going to give you some more information about, uh, from this. Again, uh, this event, the Burning Man Festival, is not a new development. The festival, and again, this source is from Tech.co. Again, I'm going to give them the credit for this Tech. Dot co you can find uh, some of this information again so, uh, again this is not uh, a new development this began around 1986 when Larry Harvey and Jerry James brought the wooden figure to Baker Beach a crowd gathered to watch it burn and since that time the festival has evolved into a more artful event yet the woodman man the wooden wooden man I'm sorry still burns as its custom. Okay, here we go. Ready? The Burning Man Festival is focused around 10 principles, and I'm going to give you these 10 principles. It's interesting that it's 10 principles, and remember, there's 10 commandments. Okay, and one of the commandments is, Thou shalt not have any other gods before me. Again, that's what we're talking about. Here are the 10 principles. Number one, radical inclusion, gifting, uh, uh, decommodification, radical self-reliance, Radical self-expression, com communal effort, civic responsibility, leaving no trace, participation, and uh, immediacy, immediacy or immediacy, I believe that's how you pronounce it. According to a press release, the mission of the Social Discovery Ventures through their participation at Burning Man is to, quote, change the paradigm of art from a commodity. A commodified object to an interactive, participatory, shared experience of creative expression. Again, this is from a uh, uh, from a an individual in philosophy. Okay, now 
what is interesting about this is, let me go back again, uh, Skywatch TV, which is Gary Stearman, uh, wrote, now here's an article he wrote, quote, demonic forces to flood U.S. starting today, again, this is uh, August 30th, Sunday, August 30th, and all this week, this year's massive Burning Man occult festival to bring enormous, uh, and again, I'm just giving you the quote, guys, so again, this is not my verbiage, but this is his, to, to bring enormous caged AI winged demon oracle Oracle Tang to life will scan attendees, interact with them, and help the man impart giftings to modern pagans for radical self-reliance and godless expression. Again, uh, and he goes on and says, an, an artificial intelligence oracle, and again, you can find this at skywatchtv.com. An artificial intelligence oracle makes its way to Burning Man this year thanks to Social Discovery Ventures. Social Discovery Ventures, headquartered in New York. Hello, New York, where they unveiled, again, the goddess Kali, Moscow, and Hong, Hong Kong, and the recipient of an international grant allowing them the privilege to showcase Oracle Tang at Burning Man 2015. Oracle Tang, as the artificial intelligence entity is called, will be able to interact with people. Again, we're talking about artificial intelligence to interact with people, it will be able to react to our moods, motions, as well as present its own set of moods and emotions, including humor, sadness, and anger. The ape-like mindset will be used as the artificial intelligence will observe people passing by, scan them, and interact with them. The machine will swing from one person to another and determine which people are worth more time and effort than others. Again, this is all being set up at this festival. Plus, responding to other people and their gestures, words, and different languages around the world enables this exhibit to bring technology and social interaction together. It gets to examine the world connects with the modern society and the natural world and then reacts upon them upon that stimulus again what are we talking about guys we're talking about we are in a dangerous path guys of bringing the the wrath of god upon our nation again this is one of many things that i'm going to be discussing when i get into the month of september we're going to break down each one of these events in detail and i'm talking about great detail from the un council resolution with israel we're going to talk about uh the the blood moons we're going to talk about the shemitah we're going to talk about uh the pope is coming and making a historical visit uh to the White House. We're, we're going to be talking about all these events, guys, that are taking place, transpiring. There's a, a partial solar eclipse that's going to be happening uh, on the 29th of Elul on the 13th of September, which is the climax of the Shemitah. We're going to be talking about all these, these events again. So what am I talking about? Remember, again, the Lord said in Exodus 20, Three, thou shall not have any other gods before me. And we know that there are many so-called gods, but there's one God, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. His name is Jesus Christ, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. There's one God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But our nation has now opened itself up to uh, the, the Hindu goddess Kali. We've opened ourselves up to uh, the, 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 the false gods of other nations. And now we have an event that is taking place today in which we are, we're crossing thresholds and boundaries that we should not be passing, uh, where we're setting up artificial intelligence. We're setting up an idol that will interact with people, uh, to be able to determine their moods, their interactions. Uh, and this is a place, it reminds me of Mars Hill, uh, or uh, I believe it was called Europa in the New Testament uh, in in the book of Acts in which Paul went into the city and he was grieved because every man was worshiping their own God. Okay. Or what, and it, or again, according to first Corinthians, it says, uh, again, I'm going to read this first Corinthians 10, 19 to 21, Paul speaking. He says, what am I saying then? That an idol is anything or what is offered to idols is anything? Rather that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they're sacrificing these things to demons and not to God. Let me say that again. 
we are we so when we put these projections up when we make these images guys i've said this before it attracts demons it attracts principalities and powers and spirits it attracts them to these locations okay it says we are making sacrifices to demons and not to god and he said paul says i do not want you to have fellowship with demons you cannot drink the cup of the lord and the cup of demons and guys america I'm, I, I hate to say this, but this is the truth. We are sacrificing to demons all the while while we're trying to get the blessings of God. We're drinking from the cup of the Lord and trying to drink from the cup of demons. And Paul says this cannot be. So again, guys, I, I fear in my heart that if, if, if our nation does not repent and turn from these things, guys, 60,000 people uh, came out annually to this thing. Uh, to this event, this Burning Man event, 60,000 people. So this is not some fly-by little event, 60,000 people. Thousands of people came to, uh, let me make sure I got this right. Uh, okay, seven over 700 attendees came to an undisclosed location for, an, uh, for the unveiling of a 2,000-pound, 9-foot demonic statue who would have ever thought that america would scoop to the level of moral decay that we would openly welcome remember this thing tried to come to oklahoma and these guys said no get that thing out of here we don't want it in oklahoma and detroit opened its arms to this demonic statue again in which people came out and celebrated this thing guys we are in deep trouble i am not going to sugarcoat this in any way if we do not repent and turn on an unprecedented level like never before, guys. Again, we are filling the cup of the rind press of God and making a mockery of God and his commandments. Again, thou shalt not have any other gods before me. Okay, so again, I wanted to give you this quick update. Pass this, guys. Share this on so you guys, so the people in Detroit will know how to pray. Those godly people, uh, that, that remnant there in Detroit will know how to pray. The people in New Mexico will, will know how to pray against this thing. The people in New York will know how to pray against this thing. Uh, guys, the, uh, we've got to, again, get the word out, sound the alarm. These are the days in which we uh are in so god bless you guys again i'll be back on here tonight and we'll interact we'll do some question and answer i'll give you some updates on what happened this weekend some some awesome testimonies uh of some of a meeting of a, of, of a tent meeting i was out there for three days i will share of uh, what's coming up this week uh and what's coming up excuse me the whole month of september so again god god bless you guys uh thank you for your prayers of safety and safe travel obviously i'm safe back at home uh, and I'm ready to, to really plow and get some information across. And I believe it's it's dire in this hour to get across that we can pray over these events. And, uh, and we'll talk more about that tonight. So love you guys. God bless you. I'll be back later tonight.